Today, what I'd like to share with you is just a reminder that when we're working in the diversity, equity, and inclusion space, and today many people are in different organizations, that we need to give each other some grace. Um, that's because when it comes to this space, we're going to make mistakes, every single one of us. And no matter what dimension of diversity we might understand, we certainly don't understand them all. There's a lot of information. The space is changing constantly. And we, even if we feel like we understand many of the dimensions of diversity, we might have a different experience or perspective. And so when it comes to being able to give each other grace, one way to go about it is to set some norms of how we can have some psychological safety to have these discussions. And then to be able to sit with very different perspectives. So one thing that I often see as a practitioner is that when I walk into these spaces, I'm often confronted with perspectives that are very different from how I experience or see this work, this space. And so I need to be able to allow people to be authentic, even if that means saying things that might be inappropriate, not politically correct, committing or you know having making microaggressions, um, all of that. Because if we don't, then we're not allowing people to make those mistakes, to show up authentically. And then everybody's worrying about what they're saying and whether they're saying the right thing. And we're not coming from a place of transparency, authenticity, honesty. And so being able to sit with what might be uncomfortable because you might disagree, you might uh, see somebody's privilege, they might not understand your perspective at all because they don't have your experience or, or perspective. And so how do we sit in all that? I think that's the space that we're in right now is how do we sit with different perspectives even if we might disagree and not feel like we have to agree, but just be able to listen and learn from different perspectives.